Hello, this Spotlight on You is all about my beautiful friend Carrie Kay. Not only is she a colorist with the presence here on YouTube and on Instagram, she is also an award-winning stained glass artist. Carrie lives in Michigan, which is a state clear across the continent from me. <laughs> I have never been there, but I'm going to show you some beautiful pictures of that amazing state. Carrie loves to color because it helps her de-stress and gives her a creative outlet. She's an incredibly creative person. She's multi craftual as she likes to say. She crochets, loom knits, embroideries, bead embroideries, origamis, quilts, and designs houses. And she also has four cats. Here are pictures of her four rescue cats. Lately, she's become obsessed with neurographic art and hanging mobiles and also loves growing things inside and out. I'm going to show you some of her incredible artwork now. This is a buddy color she did with Jojoza Hana, who's also here on Instagram and YouTube. And this was a coloring she did out of the book A Court of Thorns and Roses coloring book. Here is one she did out of the book Out of Nature Odyssey by Chris Garver. She used distress ink, paint pen, and eyeshadow. This is one of my favorites of hers. I absolutely love this picture. And this one is out of Watership Down. She masked the foreground and used distress ink for the background. Outlines of wheat are gold pilot paint pen. The foreground is ink tense pencil. And the most interesting thing is there's jelly roll glaze on the bugs and holographic rub off film on the bee wings. This one is out of Sacred Animals by Lydia Hess and it's the first time she really tried blending alcohol markers and she ended up liking it. I think it's phenomenal. We have a lot of salmon here in Oregon and I can really relate. Now here this picture is out of Challenging Mandalas for Fun and Relaxation by Loria Craig. She based it all in Sharpies and then used a very precise applicator to apply glue making lead lines on it, and then used foil rub-off film. There are low lights and jelly roll white highlights. I'm really intrigued by this foil rub-off, and I'm going to have to ask her how to do it. This beautiful piece is out of Seasons by Hannah Carlson. And this was a coloring challenge that her niece gave her, who was 16 at the time. Her niece picked the book, the page, and how she was to do it. She really enjoyed it, and she says she wants to do this again. Now this beautiful and vibrant picture is her favorite of the year so far. It's out of the book Hair by Weilerston and is her favorite artist. She created her first tag because of this artist. Here she used Bic markers that were ultra fine, Jelly Roll Moonlight and Dollar Tree Glitter Sticker Film for the background. Again the film, I absolutely love it. A few more pictures that Carrie has made that I just love. This one is out of the Chronicles of Narnia. And here we have one out of the Easy Boho book by Allie PLT. A lot of you have this book, and I have seen some great pictures come out of it. This one is out of the Intricate Flowers book by Jade Summer. I love the way she does the white over the black lines. She says that's one of her favorite techniques. And here we have one out of the book by Steve McDonald called Fantastic Coloring. I just love the color palette she chose for this one. Carrie also likes to alter pages just to keep things fresh for her coloring experience. Here she switched out the colors on this color by number. I think this is so striking. I saw this post on Instagram and I just love it. Now this Galapagos picture is out of a George Tufexis book and what she did here was she altered it to make it into neurographic art and then chose her own colors. Isn't that stunning? It's greatly altered and I think greatly improved. Now this last one is a buddy color she did with Kim Likes to Color and this is Kim's page. So take a look at what the picture looked like before Carrie Kay got to it and altered it. Remember all those feathers? Where'd they go? <laughs> this is Carrie Kay's version of it, and it is phenomenal. Let's look again at Kim's version just so we understand what the original picture looked like. Kim's coloring is so pretty, too. And yet here is what Carrie Kay did with it. Amazing. And here is Carrie laying on the floor by her six-foot-long 
diamond painting page. <laughs> it took her six months to do it. I can't even imagine. Thank you all for watching this spotlight on Carrie Kay. Carrie won this spotlight on you because she entered a uh, contest question that I had hidden at the end of a video and she answered the question correctly. But I had so much fun making this. I love you, Carrie, and I can't wait to see what you do next.